most expensive plants in the world. Hey everyone, it's Alexa again. Welcome back to another video. Flowers are the most beautiful way to show someone that you care, each flower and color symbolizing a different emotion. Yellow roses for friendship, two-toned carnations symbolize disdain, and daisies represent innocence. Most flowers don't cost too much, but there are some that are exceptionally pricey, which we will see today, along with some other great plant facts. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Lysianthus you must love someone a whole bunch if you're going to buy them a bundle of Lysianthus because it'll set you back between $10 and $35 per bundle. These flowers bloom annually and are very delicate and don't bloom for long. They come in hues of violet, lavender, pale purple, and white. Once you cut them from the stem, though, they don't last long and have earned the nickname paper flowers. Lysianthus stems from a Greek word, lysis, which means dissolution, and anthos, meaning flower. Chocolate Cosmo These flowers are some of the rarest in the world and are native to Mexico. The flower is a rich reddish brown and currently it's impossible to find them growing in the wild. It was over 100 years ago that these plants were last seen growing naturally. This flower has sterile seeds, so botanists started propagating the plant in 1902 by its tuberous roots. Titan Aurum it would be hard to place a price tag on the world's largest flower because truthfully, it's not the kind of flower anyone wants to buy or own. A single leaf of this flower can reach the size of a small tree and the flower smells so badly, it's been nicknamed the corpse flower. Perhaps you could say it's priceless. Bamboo. If you were keen to grow a plant to make money, consider growing bamboo. Landscapers pay as much as $150 for potted bamboo, and demand is high with stock available being low. Bamboo is such a versatile plant, used for hedges, roofs, or screens, and is hardy in every kind of weather. With a backyard nursery, you could be making a small fortune growing bamboo. Juliet Rose. It took 15 years and $5 million to grow this exquisite rose, which was the creation of rose breeder David Austin. It's considered one of the most beautiful flowers in the world, and one of these blooms sold for a staggering $15.8 million in 2006, which also took 15 years to harvest. Gerbera daisies. What would you pay for a good night's sleep? Some may answer thousands, but rather just spend a little and buy a bunch of Gerbera daisies. It's been proven that by placing a vase of these daisies next to your bed, it will absorb the carbon monoxide and toxins at night and release oxygen, all useful in getting you to a great night's sleep. Rothschild's Slipper Orchid It held the title of the aristocrat of all slipper orchids. The gold of Kinabalu Orchid, or Rothschild Slipper Orchid, is an endangered orchid which takes 15 years to grow and bloom. You can only find them at the Kinabalu National Park in Malaysia. The plant grows tall with six large flowers. Parasitic flies help propagate this rare plant, which sells on the black market for around $5,000 per stem. 17th Century Semper Augustus Back during the 17th century, buyers were so keen to get their hands on the coveted and rare tulip, the Semper Augustus, that they would pay up to 10,000 guilders per bulb, which would work out to about $5,700 today. This flower had garnet flames streaked across white petals and was absolutely breathtaking. That kind of money would have fed an entire family for half a lifetime or bought a mansion along the canal in Amsterdam. Tulips. While we're speaking about tulips, in 17th century Holland, tulip bulbs were more valuable than gold. Western Europe experienced tulip mania during the 1630s, and tulips were so sought after they were used as currency. The flower symbolizes immortality, love, and life. Lily of the Valley. At a cost of $15 to $50 per bundle of Lily of the Valley, you must wonder why this dainty plant fetches such a high price tag. They only bloom late spring, and despite having a beautiful scent, they are exceptionally poisonous. This delicate flower must be picked with great care in order to lengthen its lifespan. This flower is also called May Bells, Our Lady's Tears, and Mary's Tears, and is native to cooler temperatures in Asia and Europe. Ginseng. It's not called green gold for nothing. 
Ginseng is a plant that is highly favored in Asia and has been for thousands of years. Its value lies in its slow-growing roots. To harvest the mature roots of ginseng takes six years, but many growers will also sell the less mature roots or rootlets in between. Over six years, a half-acre plot of seeds, rootlets, and mature roots can net $100,000 for the seller. Ginseng can only be grown in areas with cold winters. Broccoli No, we're not mistaken. Broccoli is a flower. This vegetable is harvested before the flower buds open fully, and then it's eaten. Who knows, maybe some broccoli in a flower arrangement would look pretty cool. Cabbage is also something unusual to add to your next floral arrangement. Saffron Crocus To purchase a pound of this expensive spice will put a $1,500 hole in your pocket, and that's per pound. To get 500 grams of saffron, you need 80,000 flowers, so you can understand why it's so pricey. Iran is responsible for 90% of the saffron distributed worldwide. Each flower produces three stigmas, and they are removed individually with great care. Gardenia A single bloom of gardenia bought online can cost around $13, and although they're not the most expensive on this list, you can understand how costly it could be if you were to make a bouquet using this beautiful flower. They have full white heads and are part of the coffee family. Native to parts of Africa, Asia, and Madagascar, these beautiful flowers bloom mid-spring to mid-summer and have the most incredible scent. Sunflowers Breaking away from our pricey bouquets, sunflowers make a great change to the traditional bridal bouquet. Did you know that sunflower heads do track the sun's movement? It's a phenomenon known as heliotropism. The tallest sunflower in the world was 30 feet tall and belonged to Hans Peter Schiffer from Germany. Hydrangea There are certain types of flowers that remind you of people, and these remind me of grandmothers. Perhaps because mine had bushes of these outside her front door. They cost in the region of $6.50 for a stem, and they come in the most gorgeous hues of violet, light purple, pink, and blue. They do wilt easily, which is why you need to buy them as close to your event as possible. They're not easy to grow, which is why the hefty price tag. First discovered in Japan, these flowers get their color from the aluminum ions in the soil. Landscaping Trees and Shrubs If you've redone your garden recently, you'll know how expensive it is to buy a 5-gallon pot with a plant inside. So why not grow your own and resell them? A potted plant can fetch as much as $100 a pop. If you can specialize in hard-to-find trees, you won't have any problem selling them and making a decent profit. Gloriosa Lily A vine of Gloriosa Lily will cost between $5 and $10. This beautiful plant is native to South Africa and Asia and looks like flames hanging from the vine. The color of the petal changes from tip to center, and although initially pricey to buy, is very easy to grow, and you won't be left disappointed because even a person without green thumbs can keep this one going. Ghost Orchid Native to Florida, Cuba, and the Bahamas, this orchid loves the habitat offered by the cypress swamps where there's a specific fungus that has developed a symbiotic relationship with the orchid. The roots of the orchid are photosynthetic, which gathers nutrients for the fungus and in return gives the fungus sugar. There are only 1,200 of these plants left, and it is illegal to pick them. These orchids rely on the sphinx moth to pollinate them at night. You can own one, but it's expensive and they die really easily might not be worth parting with your money. Yellow and Purple Lady Slippers This is officially one of the rarest flowers in the world, and there are only six blooms remaining. You do find the other Lady Slipper varieties, but they're higher in numbers than this one. This variety is found in England and parts of Europe, and they were deemed extinct until 1917, when someone found some of them growing on a golf course. This plant is protected by the Wildlife and Countryside Act of 1981. Bonsai Plants I admire anyone who keeps one of these alive. Bonsai is an art form, and you either have the skill or you don't. Buying one can be very expensive, and keeping it alive even more so. New growers who get it right can supplement their income nicely by selling bonsai plants. The beauty about growing these to resell is that you don't need a massive area to do so. They take up very little space. And once you've got your formula down pat, you could be making money from a fun, soothing activity. Roses Leaving price tags for a moment, let's look at one of the most popular flowers in the world. 
the rose. These delicate beauties are related to apples, raspberries, cherries, plums, and even almonds. Some species of roses are rich in vitamin C. Those roses are used to make jams, teas, and jellies. Roses are edible, can last for ages, and of all the colors, there is no natural black rose. There is one called the Black Rose of Turkey, but it's a dark crimson red as opposed to true black. Japanese Maples Admired and respected for so many years are the beautiful Japanese maple trees. They're considered one of the ultimate collector's tree to own, and most garden centers don't have the room to display a large variety of them. If you have loads of space and time, you would benefit financially from growing these stunning trees. If you don't have too much space, don't fret, you can grow the Japanese maple in pots too, allowing you to grow a much larger variety. The Franklin Tree Flower A few seeds of this flower will cost roughly $23, and the amazing fact about these seeds is that they are descended from seeds collected in the 1700s. This flower is a member of the tea family, and the plant has dark green leaves that change to red during autumn. From the plant grows five petaled white flowers with a yellow middle. The first plant was discovered in 1765 and named after Benjamin Franklin. It's popular in gardens, but has not grown naturally in the wild since the 1800s. It's believed a fungal disease wiped them out in the wild. Jade Vine It's difficult to put a price on this interesting-looking vine because the plant is now considered endangered. It has an interesting color of bluish mint green and is found in the rainforests of the Philippines. It's a member of the bean and pea family and has been destroyed by deforestation. It's a challenge to grow this vine because bats are its natural pollinator. While we're on the subject, what is your favorite flower? Tell us what it is and why in the comments below. 1. Kadupul Flower This plant is considered priceless, and here's why. This cactus is found in Sri Lanka, and it's exceptionally rare. The flower only blooms at nighttime and survives for only a few hours. Even just laying eyes on this flower is tricky, let alone trying to pick it and sell it. This flower has never been on sale, and probably never will be.